Welcome to Ninox Essential Series. In this video, we will learn about switch statement. Switch evaluates a statement if a specific condition is true. If the condition is false, another will be executed. We have prepared a database essentials with a switch statement table and uh, four sample in it, each presenting a bit different case. By the end of tutorial, you will be one step further in efficiently automating your business processes. Let's start! In the first case, we have a situation where we need to set an action or reminder regarding the payment date. We have a date field. Let's choose 1st of November. We have a reminder in field that is a choice field. We can set one month. And we have an action needed field, which is a formula field. And here we see the result. So how do we do that? How do we get this result? How do we get the calculation that from the set date, 1st of November, one month, it's 1st of December? Let's check the code behind the formula field. We are opening our script editor. And when we break down the keywords, you can see that the statement is starting with a switch following by the name of the choice field reminder in and the first line it's finishing with the do. The number of the cases 1 until 6 are presenting the ID of the choice field. The switch statement in Ninox it's using one of many code blocks for execution. So we added in the first three cases, two days, seven or 14 days. And in the cases four, five and six to the month, we added one, three or six months. A default, it's a keyword used to specify the code executed when the expression does not match any test case. The default is optional. And we are ending our syntax with an end. Easy, right? Okay, so let's try another example. Let's try two days. Okay, the results presented in the first cho choice case, the result presented in the first choice case were simple. In the second case, in the second choice case, we present a compound result, a bit more, let's say, complex, because even when we are selecting in the choice of who, we are, as a result, having the text, but also we are coloring the formula field. So how do we do that? Let's jump into the script editor again. So we are already familiar with the syntax. What is new is in the cases we use variables. So we stored the text under the variable my var and the color under the variable my call. And we use the style function to style or to color our field. Let's make another example. Let's choose a customer A. Urgent in the red. Our third case is with a text field. It is visible that we have something in the default already. The question, what is your favorite season? Let's say the answer is summer. And we see the result hot. 
Now let's check if the syntax behind the formula field is the same as in the previous cases. So it is not because it cannot be the same simply because we don't have a choice field and the ID of the choice field to refer to. When we are using a text field, the syntax has to be a bit different. In the first line of code, we see that we have stored the season field into the variable season, and we are using a function contains that it's taking two parameters. First parameter, it's the field or in our case, uh, just the variable season. And uh, the second, it's the content of the field. So after setting these two parameters, we are saying if the case is true, if our season field is having a summer, then please give us a result hot and so on. Okay, but what, for example, if I write summer differently, if I write summer all in lower cases, I'm not getting any result. And this is because text field it's case sensitive so we need to adjust our code we need to cover all possible ways of inputting the word so this is how it should then be like in this way we are covering some of the possible ways of writing summer in caps, lower cases. So let's check it out now. Okay, we already see difference. We have a result. And if we write in caps, we also have a result. Amazing. Let's move on to our last example, and that is with the number field. We have a number field where we were insert, let's say, number one, and we have a formula field that it's also printing a number as a result. And let's check the code behind. In this case, we use a true, what it means that our switch statement is gonna check the truthfulness of our cases. First case, it's saying if the number, it's containing the number equal or smaller to five, then the result is going to be 5. In the case the number is bigger than 5, then the result is going to be 10. So if our input is 100, the result is going to be 10. Okay, in this video we have covered one of the statements in Ninox, the switch statement. We now know how to build switch statements in different cases with a choice field, text field, or a number field. Congrats! Ninox.